Hey everybody, I'm Caleb Purcell. Uh, I'm a youth pastor here at the Believer's Church of Madera in Madera, California. And uh, I'm going to be starting a new video series here um, that I'll be uploading to my personal uh, Instagram and Facebook pages, um, as well as the youth account that I'm in charge of, and as well as our church's YouTube page. So uh, if you guys can, please, before I get into what we're going to talk about, if you can, share this with somebody, uh, especially somebody that's a new believer, um, because what we're going to get into in these video series for the next, uh, I don't know how long, but there's been some things that God has just been downloading into me um, about simple truths in the Bible, um, because we need truth, because just like we're going to get into right here in John chapter 8, Jesus said that the truth is what sets us free. So instead of believing all the lies and deceiving words that the enemy's given us, we're going to dive into some simple things, dive into some deep things. Um, just I'm just kind of laying a foundation to know what is going to be coming. I'm going to be dropping or releasing at least one to two videos a week um, on just quick little short, almost like devotionals, where I'm going to kind of go off of one or two scriptures, talk about a certain subject, answer a certain question, um, and bring truth to the subject out of the Word of God. I'm not going to give... Uh, my personal beliefs, I mean, well, they are technically my beliefs because my belief is in the truth and the Word of God, but we're going to pull it straight out of the Word. I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm going to let the Bible answer whatever the question is, whatever the topic is, and we're going to build off that, give a foundation, and not only build a foundation, but build off of that foundation, which is the truth of God. So here in John chapter 8, we'll kind of kick this little series off here. In John chapter 8, verse 31, it says this, So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you continue in my word, you really are my disciples. You will then know the truth, and then the truth will set you free. Okay, I like that portion of scripture there. I like reading both of those verses together because a lot of people just read the last portion, which is the truth will set you free, which is 100% true. Okay, I'm a firm believer in that. The truth will set you free. But a lot of people forget to read the first part, which is we need to learn Jesus' sayings and his teachings. In other words, I like what he said. He said, if you continue in my word, what's Jesus' word? The word of God, the Bible, the Holy Scripture. So see, first and foremost, we got to get in the word of God ourselves. That's why I've... I've um, God has put it on my heart, I believe. And there's other people that are out there teaching the word and doing all that. Uh, but I, I do believe God has put this, <clears throat> excuse me, on my plate to just teach the simple truths. Because the Bible is what we are to build our lives on. And just like Jesus said right here, the truth, the truth will set you free. Set you free from what? It'll set you free from sin. It'll set you free from uh, bondage such as depression, anxiety. Uh, all those kinds of things. It'll set you free from sickness. It'll set you free from hell. Thank God if we didn't have the truth, if we didn't have Jesus, we would all be going to hell because, uh, you know, the way this thing was set up was if we had sin or we were unclean or anything like that, if there wasn't a way for God to give us a way out, such as Jesus, we wouldn't even be able to inherit the kingdom of God. So, uh, it said that we need to know the word, we need to study the word, we need to not only do that, but Jesus said, then you're really my disciples. Now, what's a disciple? A disciple is a follower of. So in other words, Jesus says, you need to know my teachings, know my word, and then when you do it, when you know it, excuse me, then you go out and do it, and you live a lifestyle as a disciple, a follower of Jesus. So then when you do that, that's when you know the truth, and then that's when the truth will set you free, okay? So that's why I'm starting this video series. I hope it blesses you. Like I said, I'm going to be re releasing, I think I'm going to release two videos this week. Um, and I'm going to try to at least have one video out every single week. And we're going to answer some questions here in the Bible. We're going to talk about some simple truths, some deep truths. Um, the Lord actually told me to keep it as simple as possible. So that's why I'm going to just hit you guys with about five minutes, seven minutes worth of video, sometimes even less than that. And I'm going to give you a scripture and a truth and what the Bible says about your life. Because if you don't know what God says about your life, it's going to be very hard for you to fight the enemy. Because the enemy is going to tell you things in your head. He's going to tell you lies. And if you don't know the truth, you will not be able to rebuttal that 
and live the truth out. Because in order to live something out, you got to know it first. So that's why this little video series, I hope it blesses you. Like I said, like it, uh, share it, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow our Instagram page, our Facebook page. Uh, because like I said, uh, encourage people to listen to these. Send these to your friends that you've been talking to about Christ. Send these to your friends who just got saved. Because we're going to keep it very simple. I'm going to talk about things. I've got a little list here, such as healing, uh, such as deliverance, such as angels, such as the new creation, the new birth, salvation, uh, authority, uh, casting out devils, prayer. We're going to go into things such as that and many more. Um, and just go into the simple truths and what the Bible says, like I said, about a verse or two, or excuse me, a scripture reference or two a week in a video. And we're just going to get the truth out there and let the truth set you free. God bless you guys. I hope this blessed you a little bit and encouraged you. I love you guys. God bless.